Hi guys! So let me help you understand further on how to watch the readings. So remember, this is going to be based on Vedic sidereal astrology, not Western. So if you're watching this from your sun sign, then the resonance of the energy will be happening on a soul level. Now, if you are watching this from your ascendant, then from ascendant, it's happening towards the physical manifestation of the reading. And then, if you are watching this on your moon sign, then this is going to be resonating from your feelings, your mind, and your thoughts. Now, for the people who are looking for that masculine energy, then you would have to look for Jupiter in your chart so that you will know how the energy works. And then, if for the people who are attracted to the feminine energy, then you would have to look for Venus. Now, do remember that Venus also rules the energy of the relationship, so that would be also helpful for you. Now that you guys are all set, thank you very much, and let's begin with your reading. Hi, Taurus. Welcome to my channel. We're doing your reading. You know the drill. So check whatever is out there on each side. Make sure you check the crystal wall, crystal water ball because it's about to drop in August. Okay, and that's it. So let's uh, uh, begin over here. From my Taurus, let's begin. Okay. Okay, 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 okay. Let's see. Chun, 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 chun. Let's see. Got a flipper, ace of swords, communication, wanting to stalk, to stalk or talk, I guess it's talk, <laughs> talk to someone, okay, I, I, yeah, I used to remember, I used to say that, why, you know, why the page of sword has to stalk when you just talk, you know, maybe that's an energy right now between the two of you, okay, like watching you, you watching them, them watching you, okay, with the ace of swords, um, you know, this whole big sword, you know, being, you know, because normally this is the hand of God, right? So the ethers basically are working their way, you know, to send out a message to you or to this person. You know? So be very particular with omens and that would speak a lot. Okay. But, you know, other than that, one, 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 we said that um, it, it's a message, you know, it's like that you've been waiting for or you want to, of course, speak now, you know, it's like, we want, I want to talk, you know, it's like, I'm here, and I want to talk. This is what, this is the only thing that uh, Ace of Swords will have. Uh -huh. What, I, I want to know what you guys are trying to, oh, wow. Mm -hmm. Try to address. Because you got here the King of Swords. Definitely, like, this is a big talk. Ace of the King of Swords, you never see that you guys will have this eye-opening, uh, what do you call that, um, conversation. This is just about the tea and the tea and more tea, okay? Truth after truth after truth. Logic, it's all out on the table. You lay all the cards. This is what you guys will have between you and this person. Can be an acquiring energy also, okay? This is a conversation that's really gonna open. All open, nothing is hidden, okay? King of Swords. It's good though, all facts, no emotion, you know, just addressing the core of the situation, that's good. And the Will of Fortune. Okay, we're not doing transit prediction, okay, uh, for now, okay, because we were pressed for time. So, you've been waiting for things to come around. Remember, the Will of Fortune is fate. Um, it's a fixed energy, those are fixed signs, Aquarius, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio around it, with wings. Knowledge and wisdom is what is surrounding the situation. Written through time, because that's the Torah, okay? That life already between the two of you is about to go an unexpected turn. Because the will of fortune, what is down must come up and what is up will normalize, okay? So it's a, it's a change between the two of you that starts out by communicating. It can be about a person coming around full circle in life 
now wanting to communicate. Yes? Okay. Now, what is the good thing here is that before it wasn't communication, right? Now it's about to spin. Spin, spin. Okay, this is what's good. Okay, Wheel of Fortune is about an unexpected turn for the good. Yes. It's fortune. It shows your life. Page of Cups. Okay. So, younger water sign. Now, loving message comes to you during a truthful and honest conversation. Then, someone is being vulnerable. Okay? This can be you. Next to the Page of Cups. Hangman. Remember, the only thing that can cut the delay is the truth. Is conversation because the hangman is tied up right I need to figure myself out I need to think I need some enlightenment I need to gather my thoughts okay but the conversation is gonna happen soon even before the other person tried to gather their thoughts I feel or this has happened already and now you guys are gonna have a conversation yes okay Pisces energy can be. Six of Swords. Something here is swiftly moving towards emotional, um, how do you call it? Opening up. Okay. Somebody's just going to release the Kraken with regards to how they feel towards you. And that's how I feel. It's a surge with the Wheel of Fortune. They could see the value in you. It's jackpot. This is what they realize, you know. Let me see. And next to the Ace of Swords. You got your Ten of Swords with no lies. I told you, okay, because you got all the Ten, okay. So all honesty, layering out all the swords on the table. Let's cut the lies. Let's cut the mind games, you know, because Ten of Swords, each sword was going at it. Let's go talk about this. Let's talk about, you know, sex. let's talk about sex, baby. No, let's talk about you and me. But this is more of let's, let's talk about you and me, okay. Both could have had their turn stabbing each other. You did this to me, this and blah and blah and blah. You know, all those are over now. And underneath the King of Swords, Ace of Wands can be a passionate new beginning. Okay, with the Ace of Swords and the Ace of Wands, this is when a person or you know both of you are trying to get something out of the other person. Like. These are hit, can be a, a heated argument that will happen. There's no five of swords, but how it's gonna come out is just like, you know I always have feelings. You know I was so passionate. Because it's it's addressing the core. You know, it's like how you really, really desire, because the ones are, you know, passion, so there's desire in it. That's what's coming out from the, you know, both people's mouth over here. The desire to be together. And it's a, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a new aces. That's good. Mastery, basically. And the Knight of Wands energy, see? The desire it can be a younger fire sign, long distance, or you are this energy. Now there is movement, travel, okay? Five of Wands is breaking boundaries, breaking wall by putting everything in the surface. Because here it's different. It's like an opening up. Okay? It's like open up, you know, it's like we need to discuss this in order for us to have a successful connection. And underneath the hangman, Another Wheel of Fortune. <laughs> I think who got this? Uh, Sag, okay, in their weeklies, I feel, or Scorpio. Okay, Sag, I think. But having two Wheel of Fortune here, it's preordained. It's what is written in the stars. It's supposed to go. You cannot control fate, meaning what is what their plan is. The big, the, the cosmos has a plan. And, you know, it's like it supersedes our own, you know, choices in life. And this is what is as like, you guys have to talk, and the talk will happen, you know, with the Wheel of Fortune. It's only a matter of time now, because this is an eye-opening conversation from two people, yeah. Under the Six of Swords, an eye-opening, okay? Because three to the Six of Swords, so you guys can move, okay, from the hurt that both of you cause to each other. Without the Ace of Swords, there's only just pain, you know, hurting each other with the Three of Swords. It's just going to be a very painful experience. Yeah? With the Six of Swords over here shows that there's movement. I told you, like an upsurge of emotion. 
because you guys are hurting okay you guys are hurting each other yeah but it's about to take its turn the wheel of fortune it will turn okay so thank you very much guys for watching let's see how it turns for the good because this was an energy like it was just about talking getting out of the hang position because someone was holding on to a situation where it's supposed to go so we will see where this is supposed to go to a relationship are we over are we just starting new we will see okay thank you very much guys for watching bye one person here has to trust their intuition you know like if because this is the recluse right if they're in recluse or you're in i'm in mm. i'm in the king the masculine energy is ready to set okay so let's see now because this is what the karma is justice is karma seven of swords